The new iPad Pro M4 seems to have been made as a competitor to the many Samsung tablets available. This is because, unlike other iPads, it has an OLED screen that is very similar to most Samsung tablets. In this article, we will compare the iPad Pro M4 13 inches versus the iPad Pro 12.9 inches to find out which one is the best for digital art. The 2024 version iPad Pro 13 inches is the most powerful iPad tablet available. It comes in two versions, the 13-inch screen option and the 11-inch Apple iPad Pro M4 tablet. The major upgrade on these two new tablets is the OLED screen display, which is similar to that on Android tablets. Both options will come with an upgraded M4 chip processor, twice as powerful as the older M2 chip processor on the 2022 iPad Pro. Additionally, you will have 16 GB of RAM, which makes it easy to run any complex tasks. You will have 256 GB to 2 TB of storage space, but it is not expandable. To upgrade, you must buy the next size. Both the Apple iPad M4 tablets feature a large, bright display with a high 2752 x 2064 pixel resolution and 1000 nits to 1600 nits brightness levels. Thanks to this brightness and the high 120 Hz screen refresh rate, the display is fast and perfect for 4K video editing, drawing, and complex gaming. You will be able to use this tablet both indoors in low light and high light outdoor conditions. The Ultra Retina XDR OLED display is more crisp than the older Liquid Retina option. For digital art, the Apple iPad Pro M4 is compatible with a new pen the Apple Pencil Pro, instead of the Apple Pencil 1 or Apple Pencil 2. Just like earlier versions, you still have to buy the pencil separately, which compounds the general price. The pen is perfect for high pressure sensitivity. Overall, the iPad Pro 13 is very similar to its predecessor, only slightly better. It has a slim and sleek build that makes it easy to carry around. iPad Pro 12.9 inches 2022 The Apple iPad Pro has for a long time been the best tablet for many professional functions, including drawing and digital art. For the longest time, Android lovers had been forced to play second fiddle, with no Android-based tablet even coming close in terms of power and efficiency. In 2022, however, Samsung was able to change this narrative with the introduction of the Samsung S8 series of tablets with three new powerful Android tablets to challenge the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. These three tablets are the latest, the Samsung S8, the Samsung S8 Plus, and the Samsung S8 Ultra. Although they were not able to totally replace it, they came very close, especially with the latest Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra. The overall look and feel of the body of a tablet is the first feature that captures the attention of the buyer. Many artists prefer a large but lightweight tablet with a slim and sleek body for its aesthetic look and portability. Both the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and iPad Pro come with a large surface area to accommodate the large screen area for a good user experience. The iPad Pro comes in with an overall size of 280.6 x 214.9 x 5.9 mm, while the Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra is slightly larger at 326.4 x 208.5 x 5.58 mm. These measurements mean that both tablets are large in size, but slim and sleek in thickness, making them very cool. Both are around 5.9 mm thick, which is nice. Both tablets are strong and sturdy, built with a strong all-metallic back and a compact front side to hold elements such as cameras, screens, and buttons in place. The iPad Pro comes in two color variations, silver and space gray, while the Samsung S8 Ultra is in a rich graphite color. Both tablets weigh less than a kilogram, with the iPad coming in lighter at 682 grams, and the Samsung S8 Ultra at 725 grams. This is close, and you may not tell the difference. Screen and display One thing that sets apart the iPad Pro is its high quality, crisp, and clean screen. It comes with a smaller screen than the Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra, at 12.9 inches, compared to 14.6 inches on the Android tablet. Although larger, the Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra is not able to match up to the iPad Pro resolution and display, with the iPad Pro displaying a better and more colorful and rich image display. This is because of the iPad aspect ratio and unique liquid retina display technology not present on the Samsung tablet. Additionally, the iPad boasts larger brightness levels of up to 1000 nits to 1600 nits maximum compared to 500 nits on Samsung. This means that the iPad will perform far better in low and high light conditions, compared to the Samsung. Overall, the iPad has a better screen with a 2732x2048 pixels resolution, 
N112% sRGB color accuracy, compared to Samsung's 157.8% sRGB color accuracy, and 2960x1848 pixels resolution. If you like playing games on your tablet, both screens feature a 120Hz refresh rate that is good for gaming, so you can go with either. However, processing power and storage will set one tablet apart from the other, as discussed below. Power and performance Both the Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra and the iPad Pro 12.9-inch are premium-level tablets. They pack enough power to easily replace your laptop as your go-to workstation for your professional work. Both are great. The iPad Pro, however, proves to be better with more powerful features, compared to the Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra. First, the iPad Pro has a more powerful M2 processor, compared to Samsung's older and slower Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. However, Samsung has a wider RAM and storage variety, with 8, 12, and 16 GB of RAM options, compared to the iPad's 8 and 16 GB only. Additionally, Samsung comes with three storage sizes, 128 GB, 256 GB, and 512 GB, which are expandable using a South Dakota card, Micrist, Micrist up to 1 TB. The iPad is not expandable, but comes with size options from 128 GB up to 2 TB. You can choose between 128 GB, 256 GB, 512 GB, 1 TB, and 2 TB options. Samsung S Pen vs Apple Pencil 2 Samsung Galaxy takes the day in this category because, when you buy, you get a free professional stylus S Pen that was made with an artist in mind. Additionally, it is compatible with many Samsung tablets, including the Samsung S6 Lite. This makes the Samsung tablet more economical and flexible, compared to the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro works with an Apple Pencil second generation, which is great and professional. Unfortunately, you will have to buy it separately, in addition to the expensive iPad Pro tablet. Another downside of this pencil is that it is limited and may not work with older versions of the iPad so you need to be careful when buying. Both the S Pen and Apple Pencil score well when it comes to the ergonomic design that mimics a natural pen, making them good for drawing. To add to this, the battery-free pen and high sensitivity make the pens perfect for both beginners and professional artists. Cameras and speakers, just like many other tablets, both of these tablets have a large space inside, that allows space for high-quality speakers for your movie streaming and music. Both tablets feature a high-quality stereo sound system with four high-quality speakers. iPads have a good camera system with 12MP and 10MP rear cameras, and a 12MP front camera. Samsung has a slightly better front camera system, with 12MP and 12MP ultra-wide, but a poor rear camera in comparison with 13MP and 6MP rear cameras. This difference will, however, not be too significant. 